Glad to have you back. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Don, and this is Adventures This Way, where we focus on the power sports world, riding, maintenance, and repairs. Look at this. Holy frig. <laughs> Thank you to all the subscribers and regular viewers. Thank you. We just crossed the 500 subscriber mark, and I truly appreciate the support. The next goal is to reach 1,000 subscribers. It will unlock and open up a lot more opportunities for the channel to continue to grow even more. To do that, I need your help. Subscribe today, watch all the videos you can, share the ones that you like. And of course, don't forget to leave a comment. I read them all. You gotta get dirty at some point. Yeah. Today, I'm back in the garage again, about to do some work on the Sportsman here, again. Now, some of it is maintenance related, and I didn't get to it last time. Why? Well, well I'll tell you. <sighs> the focus of this channel is all about getting out and enjoying the ride. It doesn't matter what you ride, as long as you get out there and ride, and enjoy it, and enjoy life, because you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Previously, I was working on the front suspension components and it turns out I need to replace a lot of parts and I just did not have the money to replace them all at the same time. I have a limited budget. The sportsman back here, it's not the only thing I have. I have a snowmobile, uh, actually I've got two snowmobiles. <laughs> you know what? There's only so much to go around. I'm fortunate to have a good paying job that covers all my bills and expenses and you know, gives me a little extra. I don't have a big budget to feed my addiction to outdoor activities. Just the bottom line, I gotta make it worth what I got. Sometimes there's only so much to go around. Well, you know, let me tell you a story. Where I grew up, which is northeastern Ontario, Canada, everything revolves around doing things in the out of doors. Fishing, hunting, snowmobiling, ATVing, you name it, you did it outside. That's what we did. So growing up, I always had this need and want to get my own things. So when I was a young lad in my hometown of Kirkland Lake, Ontario, it's a mining town, not a lot's going on there these days. But I remember when I was a young lad, I used to always love going to the dealership that had all the dirt bikes on it. I just remember going there when I was eight, nine years old, walking there by myself because you were allowed to do that back then. It was from those early days, always being around uh, my dad's friends and we would go take me ice fishing and I get to drive the snowmobile. I fell in love then. Fast forward to now, that love is still very, very strong and I'm fortunate that I have some machines that I can do that on now. For those of you that have been around the channel a long time, you may or may not know the story of my Kodiak and the incident. I'll put a card up here just to be a reminder of the name of that video. You better go check that one out. Finish this video first, then go watch that one, okay? After the incident, which was near tragic and a valuable learning lesson. I understood that this was now an opportunity for a fresh start to find a new machine that was more powerful and more capable. I couldn't go out and just buy a brand new machine. I couldn't, it just wasn't in the cards. So the best option was to find a machine that I could build into my own. Let me tell you, I searched and I searched and I searched. Then I searched some more. I found one, actually I almost bought a K&M, but it got sold on me, but you know what? I'm glad it didn't work out, but it was a 650. And you know, I thought I thought that it would have been enough power, which the 650 can yeah, makes pretty good power, but not as much as this one back here, buds. Now that I have this machine and I have it built the way that I want, I couldn't believe what a world it opened up to me. It's a whole new type of riding that I never really understood and I had no idea how much I would enjoy it. I really, really didn't. The other thing is, I didn't realize how much I would enjoy filming and sharing my experiences with you. I had no idea how much I would enjoy making videos, producing them, filming them, editing them. I had no idea how much I would enjoy that creative process. I always knew I had some creative genes in me, but I never knew what they were. I never knew what they were. Bottom line is, I'm in this for the long haul. I'm really enjoying making videos and sharing them with you. 
I really like it. I like it. The other thing I wanted to share is I had no idea where this journey would take me. I've had the opportunity to meet so many new people. It's incredible. I have had the opportunity to get out and ride with some other people that are uh, that make YouTube videos or have YouTube channels, YouTubers, whatever you want to call them. Like I started out, I've gone out and rode twice now with uh, Louis from Power Mods. I, when I first got into YouTube, he was the first person I ever, I ever watched. I learned how to do some things on my old snowmobile because of him. You now it just kind of all started from there. I've also had the opportunity to get out and ride with Richard from Elemental ATV. He's a buddy of mine. I've known him for a long time, but we were never really close. But the last number of years, we've been able to hang out. It turns out we live not that far apart from each other. Like it's a small world. And it was through Richard. That's how I got to meet Job from ATV. It's crazy. There's so many people that are involved in YouTube around here that live within, you know, a fairly small geographical area. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. Uh, I got to meet Hondu the other day, rode with him and met some of his buddies. I've rode with another, I've got a new acquaintance now, his name's Adam from Ghostman ATVs. Uh, we've rode a couple times. There'll be another video coming out with that. We, uh, we hit some, we found some mud. We hit, found some mud. And we actually made it to Legum Lake. Uh, like I referred to before with the uh, Kodiak incident, that was a ride to Langham Lake and uh, we never even did get to the lake because uh, my Kodiak never, w never would have made it past Johnson's Hole because it was flooded so bad. We did that once and you know what, it's a pretty rough ride and you know, we did it. But boy, we did find some mud holes. Was gonna try and hit some of the skeg spots but when we were driving through, the hydro crews were spraying pesticides to kill all the trees and everything. So we just figured, you know what, it's not really worth going through some of those spots. Uh, yeah, when the signs say stay away, you know, you should probably stay away for a few days, let it kind of settle in. Here's the other thing I want to touch on. This works from back here. I'm still glad that I purchased it. I'm still glad I purchased it. I don't really have any big problems with the machine itself other than uh, and a lot of parts are wearing out real fast. But I knew that from the start. That's what I knew from the start. That's what I was told. The bushings and bearings wear out fast on these. And you know what? Steve from Black's Corners, yeah, he was right. I gotta do a better job getting on top of the maintenance. I really gotta keep on. Even though I think I do, I'm still not doing as good as I could. There's always room for improvement. But I got a problem with the snorkel system. I got a leak again. I'm pretty sure it's a leak in the snorkel tube somewhere, probably from all the riding I did all the way on the hydro lines to Lingham Lake and back. We went into the lake to clean off and I got water in my belt again. It's crazy. So I haven't even looked at it. Oh, the other thing that happened that ride, I started losing performance on the way home. I know I need to do the packing on the RJWC over there. Now it's been on my radar, but uh, yeah, it's, it's plugged up so bad now I, I can't even hardly ride it. So I gotta get on that. I gotta get these, uh, what do I gotta do? I gotta, yeah, I gotta repack that exhaust, which, and you know what, let me see. Oh yeah, it hasn't showed up yet. Like, come on, man. You know, I've had such a problem getting friggin' parts and stuff the last little bit, it's driving me nuts. Luckily, I've been busy. I've been doing renovations on the house. I'm almost done. And uh, you know, it's been treated pretty dry around here, but we have had some rain. We're supposed to get some more. So hopefully this week I'll get out, see what things are like at the park. Probably get stuck and buried, but you know, whatever. I'll give it a go. So always remember to get out there and enjoy the ride. Do me a favor, check out this video right here. See you in the next one. Now let's get this freaking exhaust going down here. Ooh, yeah.